Welcome back. We're Eric's Drink Whiskey. Together again. Crazy how that happens. Uh, Miller here. Samson here. And we are dipping into a fun one. The Eliza Craig Rye Whiskey. So I think it was what, last year? Eliza yes. Craig came out with a straight rye. Um, I've done no research on this um, other than buying it. Um, kind of like a bottle rocket. It just kind of like it kind of like popped up and then. I don't. I don't know that it's in wide release. Um, I know I've seen it in the wild once, and like it they, came to Georgia. They still have a bunch Didn't on the it? shelf too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I bought it. I haven't obviously haven't drank very much of it, but it's. I thought it was very good. You know, eleven months ago. Uh, but we are going to sample it for you tonight. It's the same. It's the same mash bill as like their Pikesville and. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's right. it's Red House or the other one. Yeah, I think it's you know Kentucky rye through and yeah. through, which is just legally a rye. But all right, um, same sexy Eliza Craig bottle, except everything that was red is now green um, to denote that it's rye. Uh, 94 proof. Not bad. That's about it. Let's drink. Good God, man. I don't talk about getting blind drunk. Just want to figure out how it tastes. Just a taste. Ah. Let me have one of the stickers. <laughs> you can have the whiskey one. The whiskey one. Yeah, I'd Google it if I had a computer here, but I, I'm... I think we need it. I'm pretty sure it's 51% rye. Um, I don't know about an age. Um, it's at least four. It's at least four. So it's you know, Jen... General consensus on like their normal product is eight to twelve, even though they don't have an age statement. And uh, the uh, the regular small batch bourbon. Uh, yeah, but I'm talking about like I, I think their Pikesville is like six years. I don't know. You would know. One of them's age. Yeah, I think the Pi yeah. Pikesville's age stated six years old. Yeah. So this is non age stated. So but let's just say it's four. It's got good color to it. I mean, I don't think it's young. I almost smell like a got a good hint of spearmint with that. Yeah, maybe like Which some maybe like some like lemongrass. Very medicinally, um, almost like Luden's cherry cough drops. Yeah, it's definitely it's not a it's not a piney rye. Mm -hmm. It's not a peppery rye. Yeah, very herbal, like uh, those vegetative. Vegetative. <laughs> you know the like go to Cracker Barrel, you get the whorehound candies. Yes. Yeah, it's just like straight like herbal bitterness. My granddad still. I love those. Still eats those. They come in a tin can. They just look. They all look awful. <laughs> it tastes awesome. It's probably why I like rye so much. Interesting. Nose fucking. Nose fucking. Nose copulation, nostril copulation, BNC. All right. Drank. Drank. Little. I got that. I got that kind of herbal note on the front. On the front end, very vegetative. Um, it's like it. It's like it's a. It's a. Uh, it's a bourbon masquerading as a rye. Yeah, uh, the finish was very thin. Like I, I, don't, I, I didn't get. I didn't get much. Much on the lasting bit. Yeah, it wasn't. Kind of it like, wasn't super like. I don't know. I'm. It's. I'm, I'm not a fan of this. I mean, it's. I don't have to be a fan of no. it. No. It's okay. So so the label says spicy rye perfectly balanced with corn for a distinctly smooth taste. I, I think that's accurate. Uh, I think, yeah, it's, a, I think it's, it's pretty accurate. It's like you take a sip and it's like everything you smelled and then it like pulls off the mask like a Scooby-Doo ending and it's like, surprise, I'm Elijah Craig. Something on that initial taste is just throwing me for a loop. It's, um, it's oak. It's, 
I don't know. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a 79 on a, like, like you're trying to beg to your teacher to like give you some yeah. extra credit just to put you to that B. That's kind of where this is at for me. Um, um, it's, it's, what, what was the price for on this? 50 like bucks? 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not bad for 30 bucks. No. If this um, was 50 bucks, I wouldn't buy it. Is it worth it? Like 30 uh, bucks ain't bad. I feel like I don't think, I don't in think terms of Elijah Craig hype though, it's, I mean, I, I expect a lot out of Elijah Craig. I was, I'm, I was really disappointed. I'm really disappointed at how, how thin on the back end it was. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a ride drinker, and I, I'll tell you this though, for a Kentucky ride, this tastes ryeish more than, more than most that I've had. That's true. Um, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm I don't know. I, 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 it's not like a daily rye. I, th- I, mean, I think, I think, no, I think the description was was pretty, yeah, pretty on the it's nose. A, it's a spicy rye. Yeah. Um, I maybe would have wanted minty. more rye. Um, I feel like it smells like a rye. That initial burst of flavor is rye, but then it's just like drinking anything else Heaven Hill makes in terms of the the mid palate to the finish. All right, there was the extra credit. I'll give it a B, eighty. But at thirty bucks, yeah, it's not. That, that ain't bad at all. I mean, now. It, if you find it marked up, that's you know, and we're, and we're going and we're going through company. We're going through companies too that have rye products that are um, way more expensive because in in the in the general grand scheme of things, rye is going to age a little quicker, but it's going to be a little more expensive just because rye is an expensive grain and it's it's a, little, a, and it's it's a hard it's a hard grain to ferment. It's a, it takes a little more. Uh, conscious effort to actually get it to ferment so naturally they're going to be more expensive however um i've seen some rye i've seen and and you have drank some rye products that were cheaper than this that were really good but at 30 bucks this is not bad no it's i've seen other products just like this for 60 bucks it'll it'll scratch an itch for somebody it um I, I hate to say it because I'm a Elijah Craig fanboy. I'm thoroughly underwhelmed. Um, it's good. All the, all the flavors are good. I just wish I had more body to go with. It's that finish, man. That's, it, yeah, it's, it's just it's, like it's on the back end. Just kind of. It's just... a, it's a good Papa Rye flavor. It's got a nice amount of oak on it. it it's obviously got some age on it. Um, but then yeah, it's kind of just a thin, watery kind of like man, a half-ass bourbon finish. So, but that's us. That's our taste buds. Mm. It's very indicative to uh, the small. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, let me get me uh, fired up on that tangent. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I, f- I figured if we did this show long enough, we'd find one that we weren't huge fans of. Now, now, am I going to drink? What's what, what what's what's the phrase? I really wanted to not like. I, this. I really. And I don't. <laughs> I, I really wanted to like it. Um, you know, it looks good with my small batch and my barrel picks and my barrel proofs and my toasted oak and. Um, Which room? We need to down the road. Put this up against like Russell Six. Russell, yeah, probably Russell Six. Um, uh, maybe uh, probably maybe Jim, Jim Beam's Rye. Jim Beam's Rye, Turkey, uh, the One Hundred One Rye, maybe the Knob Creek Rye. I think it was proofs a little kind of wonky, wonky. But, um, but no, so this has been Elijah Craig Rye, straight rye. Uh, yeah, uh, we're as surprised as you are. But I mean, we we're bound to find one that was not like we can't like every whiskey. No, I mean, we could, but we'd be lying so. right. and broke. Yeah. So here we are. Um, okay. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you vehemently disagree with us, let us know. Uh, but otherwise, like, share, and subscribe. Um, we've uh, we've appreciated you joining us. And until next time, cheers. cheers.